Well, President Trump said that he wants the vote counting to stop on Election Day, but that's not true. States continue to count votes even after Election Day. For example, in several states, uh, several counties in Pennsylvania, officials won't start counting mail-in ballots until Wednesday. And same goes for Kansas. They have until November 6th to get their votes in. Mm -hmm. Election boards across the Kansas City area have received more mail-in ballots than ever before. Well, KCTV 5 Savannah Rudisell is showing us how officials are handling that high turnout. Savannah what have we seen so far at the polls? Well, Kelly and Joe, all throughout this morning, we've been talking about what we've seen throughout the metro in terms of what we've seen in Jackson County, Johnson County, as well as Wyandotte County. Now we want to turn our attention to Platte County and the entire state of Missouri. Now we just got these numbers in as of Saturday night. And what we've seen as far as advanced voting in Platte, and excuse me, in-person absentee voting in Platte County is more than 9,000 people have voted so far. Now, the Platte County Election Board has collected around 7,800 mail-in ballots. You've got to compare these numbers to 2016, when Platte County had a total of just over 5,000 absentee votes. The Missouri Secretary of State's office is still waiting on a few thousand mail-in ballots to come back. It reports that the entire state of Missouri has a nearly 90% return rate. Now, if you still have a mail-in ballot that you haven't filled out and you haven't put in the mail and you would rather vote in person tomorrow on Election Day, we've got some information on our website at KCTV5 that you need to know. Reporting live at Union Station, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV5 News. All right, Savannah, thank you so much.